Welcome back. Here we are once again, uh, playing some 10 minute games on Shogi Wars. So I'll try to read out things more carefully this time than the last couple times. And we'll see if I can manage to do that reading more accurately or not. Good luck. Somehow I just lost audio. This is going to be fun. Um, let's see. Okay, so you still have audio. It's just my speakers. That's fine. All right, our opponent pushes many pawns, which indicates aggressive intent. Um, one way to counter this would be to use a silver, um, indicating that I have some intentions of my own. Our opponent wants to break on this line here. Um, do I want my king in the middle of this? Maybe, maybe not. Last time I did this, it wasn't smart, but maybe this time it's okay. Oh, that's interesting, too. Okay. Wait, where is our opponent building their castle? I do wonder. Okay, so we built Twin Gold Castle. Um, ah, right, so last time I got in a similar situation, um, I should have pushed this, and today I push it. And that should help as compared to last time when I didn't do that. Um... Hmm, maybe this is a situation where moving the bishop up is not so bad. So our opponent gets a pawn in hand. They can't immediately place it. Um, I don't want to block my rook. Oh, I want my silver where my bishop is. Well, okay, that's not good. Um, Yeah, how do I attack here, since I blocked most of my pieces? I've made things tricky. So, if I bring my rook over... I don't know. Oh wait, I can delay their attack by bringing this up. Let's delay their attack. Welcome. Hello. So this delays their attack and claims a little bit of space. They fight hard on one side of the board, I can fight hard on the other. That's fine. So now that I've kicked back the rook, that gives me more freedom to attack here. Um... So I think I should unblock my bishop. And I don't know what to do here. I mean, this looks as reasonable as anything to me, but I don't know for sure. Um, OK. 
Okay, I'm going to unblock my bishop there. And I guess this makes this point the entry point for my attack. Um, strangely, our opponent is not building Hymeno, and I don't know why not. Hang on. My bishop can go there, can't it? And there's nothing that can oppose... No, they could use their bishop to oppose my bishop. Um, is that good for them? I don't know. Interesting. If we do a bishop exchange and I drop a bishop back here, they defend this gold somehow. I can move up the knight oh, and to promote it there. They can... They defend the gold. I guess they use the other gold to defend the gold, and then I bring my knight up. Then they use their rook to attack my bishop, but then I escape. Well... Either way, this pawn is a hindrance. Wait, no, they moved this up, so this becomes a weakness again, here. Um, yeah, let's hit the easy target instead of trying to do something complicated. So the problem with this rook maneuver is that I've lost one move. But I've gained uh, access to the center here and have two pawns in hand. That's an odd shape. Hang on. I've got ideas now. Well, I could trap my rook and lose it for a pawn. That's an idea. Original ideas aren't always good. My grand idea here was that this is a target. Okay. <laughs> a chasing they go. This is an interesting way to defend your position. Um, most interesting. I don't get it. I could sack for that, but I don't want to. Maybe next. Well, no, the knight protects the square. Never mind. Getting fancy would hurt me. Probably. Man, they just want me to sack on them. This is... Yeah, this is quite a position. I don't understand. Okay, they're trying to promote their bishop. That's an immediate idea here. 
I allow this promotion. Because I'm curious what they're doing next. I'll drop back the rook against my better judgment. Um, Oh, that pawn has been hanging the entire time, hasn't it? I didn't see that. Ippun. It would help if I could see one move tactics, wouldn't it? How much wouldn't that help here? So, we'll fight on. Despite immense frustration. Should have blocked this back rank. I have another lance, but actually, wait. I'm winning. A run. Never mind. Fuck! Uh, probably should have taken the piece. <laughs> I'm not thinking clearly in this time pressure, in case it's not obvious. Um, it's a bit challenging. So, I don't understand what they're doing. Thanks for the game. Alright. One game down. Two to go. I'm spending my time. Um, at least for an exciting finish, but... Alright. Good luck. All right, you got my interest. This looks fun. Is it sound? Probably not, but... You know, sound is not my MO today, so... Yeah, pushing the envelope is more my MO. Um... Mm-hmm. I 
I don't know how to defend everything here. Um, I don't have to defend everything. I just have to defend one fork. Um, just now defend it. And I want to send my opponent to figure out the rest here. Um, which I think they figured out. Yeah, I missed my attacking chance there, didn't I? Nope. Oh, this is fine. Yeah, they could have defended a bit better. Yes, this is true. Lifting this gold is tremendously risky. If they have a rook that they can drop, probably shouldn't have done that. Um, For a brief instant, I thought I saw something there. Actually, I can push here, can't I? Nanafumi. This looks interesting. Confusing, yes, but interesting as well. Alright, let the games begin. I think it best for me to remove this knight before trying to win more material there. Uh, I could take the lance. But no, a rook is a good attacking piece in this situation. Um, knight is also a good attacking piece. You got my curiosity. How is this safe?
Oh, I have a check there. And suddenly my rook moves like more than a rook if I do that. Shogi promotions confuse me frequently. Someday I'll get the hang of it. Um... Gofun. Okay, we can just keep removing pieces from around their king. This'll be... Oh, wait a second. The gold can take that. Although, I was debating, how is it that I get to play this fork? We found a way that I get to play this fork after all. Um, I completely spaced on the gold defending this point. Um, but the gold was busy defending the silver, too. Alright, so now we have a horse rampaging about our opponent's position. They do not have a gold general. If they had a gold general, they'd be able to drop it and like slow down my attack, but they don't. So they're going to attack very soon, like that. And I don't know what to do about that. It's not a fork, but I kind of want to run from it anyway. Um, so they could use a rook to attack this from the front, and I could drop a pawn to stop that attack. They are not able to drop pawns to attack. Well, they only have one in hand anyway, but um, yeah, I don't want to give them a gold. I wouldn't mind taking another knight. Knights are fun pieces to attack with. Um... Rooks are also fun pieces to attack with. If they drop their bishop in defense, I might slow my attack. Um, unless I can find some way to speed it up. If I had multiple pawns, I could just keep dropping pawns on this file to speed up my attack. Oh, they actually decrease their defense here. Means I can drop a pawn right next to the rook to pick up a silver. Um... Hmm. Well, I might as well, right? That's faster than picking up the knight, or at least just as fast, but the silver allows me to continue attacking. Oh, right. Well, they could do this, but... That seemed a bit dangerous, right? Am I underestimating how dangerous my attack is? Or overestimating it, rather? Uh, thanks, good game. Oh, I'm sorry. Now that somehow they have two pawns here. I seem to miscount at that. Yeah, the bishop drop wasn't enough either, because they really need to attack. Probably it was flawed defensively somehow, too. Good luck.
I mean, I was stretching for commentary there a bit. Um. Hmm. Here we go. Probably want to defend this point before allowing a bishop exchange. Um. I don't see a fork so either. I'm totally spacing on that, or there's just not a fork there. Fun times, eh? Alright, they are building Anaguma Castle, but it's not built yet. Last time I tried to offer a Rick Exchange, where I played this castle and they played that, that was unwise. Well, here, it's not a Rick Exchange I'm offering. I'm offering my silver to come up and attack their Rook. Although I could offer a Rick Exchange and that gets messy. Um, but I don't, it can't profit me. No, I should just check. Oh, shit. I forgot about this. Um, well, we have an interesting moment on our hands. This pawn's hanging. If I defend, we exchange rooks, my silver's off in La La Land. Um, that's not great. We're going to defend this way. This is going to be awkward. This is going to be super awkward. Um... My rook's not defended. Alright, so we'll cover my silver's head for lack of anything better to do with the tempo. Maybe I should push my center pawn just so I don't get some epic fork ruining my day later. Ah, so last game I could have taken the silver, the horse, and the bishop after that. Alright, so here I admit I've been scheming a bit, so let's see if my scheme uh, does any good or does any harm. Nanafun. If I drop the pawn, I'm one move faster. Oh, the knight's hanging. The knight is completely hanging here until my rook is not hanging. Um.
So yeah, next I'm debating dropping a pawn, moving the silver up, moving well, I don't win a tempo with this pawn drop, do I? Maybe I do. So it'd take me two moves to move the silver up. Um if I drop a pawn, if they take, if I move the silver, they retreat. If I move the silver again, I've essentially done the silver double move in one move. So, yeah, it would save me a move. But either way, they're just going to bring this knight out. And I'm not going to get a chance to do... Well, if they do that, I can exchange knights and redrop the knight. And return to the same tactic here. A free pawn. I should be suspicious. Oh, if I take silver takes and they just come after my pieces, it stings a lot. So I don't want to take that. Um, All right. I've kept reading this for the past couple minutes. I don't see any flaw other than at this point I have no pawn in hand, which is a bit upsetting. But that flaw aside, this seems okay. Next, I promote the silver. They attack my bishop. I, I don't know. We'll figure something out. There's going to be a bishop forking a rook and gold here. And they're going to have an advanced pawn as well. So, like, this isn't perfect. But I did find an attack and execute it. So, it's not for nothing. Um, okay, if they have a knight, they can drop to block my attack. Um, I don't profit from allowing that, so... Oh, poopy. Okay, well, we're both learning how tactics work in Shogi. Um, combinations are confusing. We're going to have to look at this one closer after the game. So I save my rook. They save their rook. Um... save my bishop. They're going to get this gold over here, but I'm going to get a promoted rook and a gold over here. Uh, I can save my gold. A gold general is useful. Um... <sighs> All right, I save my general. I 
I save my rook. They have a knight in hand, and they're attacking. Um, all right, I protect my rook. Mostly because I expected that to happen. Oh, I have ideas. Um, let's see how much trouble my ideas get me in. So if they take my lance, I can drop a bishop here. I don't even have to drop a bishop here necessarily. Actually, wait. Hang on, this is a simple fork. It's a lot simpler than it looks. Hello. Sampun. Um No. Um. Maybe. I don't know. How do you attack this thing? I guess we'll learn. Um, but I probably should know this by now. Hmm. Okay, so I've severely misplayed this. Not only the attack, but my defense as well. Alright, well, that was an exciting expedition there. Um, I didn't think a gold there would do any better, but... The more I look at this, yes, yeah, silver preventing the king escape is not the right way. It just isn't. I've not had a similar attack before, but now we've gained experience from having flubbed this. Yeah, gold 
works so much better here. For one reason, I could just take the pawn, and then horse takes lance next. I can't do that with the silver here. The king escaping was, well, not my greatest problem. Yeah, we might be able to play some games, or I'm not sure if you're referring just to me and my uh, usual shtick uh, of, like, let's have fun. But, yeah, I will want to review this game afterward to figure out how to play better. No, if I block my silver, it's not moving anywhere. This is the fastest path forward, even if it's glacial. They allow a fork. I was debating dropping this in the first place, which is maybe what made it easier to find the fork. Incredibly, they still don't have a gold general. I'm being stupidly defensive here, but, like, I'm a bit paranoid right now. Paranoia doesn't suit me well at all, not even in this position. Amazing. Mm. This is going to get more uncomfortable because they attack my horse next. Um, well, that sucks. I have two rooks, I might as well use them. Since the bishop drop doesn't checkmate me, I can be this aggressive. Their pieces all block each other. My pieces are slow, but they're not blocking each other. Oh, I mean the rook's blocking the gold, but that's fine. Thanks for the game. Why not take the silver? Oh, did I have a mate there? It's very possible Rook takes silver could have made it. Why not take this silver? It was unnecessary. But taking that silver could well be a mate. 
but thanks for game. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, I've not hit... Yeah, I've hit my game limit. Sorry. I meant to look over my game uh, history here. I meant to click no on that. So this is where we stand at the end of the game session here. Uh, we're halfway to Wandan. So uh, somehow I'm making progress, but uh, seems I got lucky as usual. Uh, each time I'm playing now you can see the world map on the right side to see what hour of day I'm playing, because I think there is a pattern based on what hour I'm playing and what hour my opponents are playing. I think writings fluctuate just a bit. Uh, at least maybe I am imagining something there, but regardless, um, yeah, hopefully we enjoyed these games. Uh, thanks for watching.